Science is limited to the natural world. Science, by its very nature, cannot seek supernatural explanations to any phenomenon. Even when one seeks to understand supernatural phenomena, only explanations complying with natural processes can be considered. Supernatural forces, by definition, can operate outside natural processes and therefore cannot be reliably subjected to critical testing in which any result could be expected and attributed to the quirks of supernatural forces. We can never expect to reliably disprove a supernatural explanation, whereas natural explanations are all potentially disprovable. What does this mean? Basically, it says we cannot seek supernatural explanations. Only things that we can test can be considered reliably scientific. Okay? So supernatural ideas cannot be tested. Therefore, they're not part of science. Science is observable. All science is based on observation, events which can be perceived with our senses, either directly or indirectly. This includes perceivable evidence of unobserved events of the past. For example, fossils. Science is also testable. All ideas, hypotheses, theories in science must be subject to testing, to being disproved, not proven. Every logical means should be attempted to show that such ideas are not valid. If they survive such tests, they are proportionally strengthened. This means that science is testable, and it has to be able to be tested by many different people, and that way we know that it's true. Measurable. In order to achieve the highest possible precision and to reduce subjective judgment as much as possible, all observations should be quantifiable by acceptable and appropriate standards. So we have to be able to measure results. So that's why when we use qualitative observations, they have to be backed up with evidence. Science also has to be repeatable and verifiable. Any test or observation of a scientific idea should be repeatable by different people from which one would expect comparable results unless there are uncontrolled influences or innocent bias. This is why research reports must be as detailed and quantitative as possible. Okay, so you have to not only be able to measure it, but it has to be repeated by many different people. Testable, measurable, repeatable. Science is also modifiable and open to change. The concepts, hypotheses, and theories, and even the facts, the observations of science, are subject to change as new techniques, new perspectives, and new information comes to light. Nothing in science is to be considered fixed for all time. Science is not based on authority or dogma. Many of its concepts may become generally and widely accepted because they work and continue to be confirmed by testing, but even these are subject at least to modification or even total replacement when new evidence clearly so indicates. So, science can change when with new evidence comes new theories. Science can be modified. <laughs> Science is built upon testable predictions. Good hypotheses, plausible explanations should offer or suggest predictable outcomes of carefully controlled and crafted testing or observation if correct and alternative outcomes if they are not correct. Okay, so you should be able to test your hypotheses. 
science is also based on experimentation. Wherever possible, hypotheses should be tested by experiment. Ideally, such experiments should be controlled, which means they are so crafted as to eliminate all variables but one, the one being considered as the critical element of the hypothesis. That would be the independent variable. <laughs> <laughs> now, science is also biased. This is not often recognized as a characteristic of science. In fact, every effort is made to counteract the natural tendencies of bias in people. Nevertheless, scientists are people, and they unwittingly bring whatever biases they may have to their work. Usually, this is very subtle, a product of one's gender, socioeconomic status, education, culture, political leanings, age, or religion. An open recognition of this is important if one is to design experiments which minimize such bias or even considers the research of others. So, keep that in mind. Scientists try not to be biased. They try to be objective and create experiments that can be testable. However, everybody has a bias. So you just have to keep that in mind, recognize it in yourself as a scientist, and also question the biases of other people. Science is objective. Every effort is made in science to be totally objective about the subject of study. Most of the elements of science are in place precisely to maximize such objectivity. In addition to the items already listed, scientists are expected to report their work and findings so that other scientists may critically evaluate such work and even attempt to repeat it to make sure results are not due to some subjective element that can vary from person to person. All of this recognizes the unavoidable fact that scientists are human, subject to the same influences as anyone else. Science is also strong theories inferred from solid evidence. The most important product of science is its theories, the logical constructs of facts and hypotheses that attempt to explain natural phenomena. They are scientific explanations. Since a theory is always an explanation, it's always conceptual as opposed to an observation, and therefore must be inferred as a synthesis from many observations. All that means is that scientists make observations and infer conclusions, which are theories, based on those observations. Ultimately, theories are more important than facts. The more internally consistent are the relevant facts, confirmed observations, the stronger is the theory inferred from those facts. So, the more exact you are with your observations, the better your theory will be. Science is made stronger by different lines of evidence. When evidence comes from different, independent, unrelated fields of study and they all point to the same explanation or theory, this increases credibility and support for the theory immensely. The chances that such agreement would be due simply to coincidence and not the validity of the theory are extremely remote. What this means is that when a lot of people doing different kinds of research come to the same conclusion, it means that conclusion is really strong. And finally, science is a search for understanding. This is indeed the goal of science, an understanding of our natural universe, how it works, and why it is the way it is. <laughs>